Hello, and welcome back to Chapter Master, where, now that I have learnt quite a bit about the game, I have decided to indulge uh, another playthrough of the Lamenters in an attempt to see how well we can do with my knowledge of how they work as well now. So, as with all things Lamenters, we need to ensure that we have the maximum amount of gear for what we've got and we shall see what we can do all right now of course as you can see i'm starting here at the armory we're going to buy ourselves some um actually why would you buy power swords when power axes are actually way better we'll buy 10 of them yep we'll i uh, may as well buy 30 of those all right so I've learned a lot from the last times about raiding, about boarding, and different weapons and variety types. So, we are going to restart the Lamentus Redemption. Of course, I've done the fleet glitch to get ourselves some, we'll get my, some decent fleets. And we are going to see what we can do about the enemy at large. Now, dealing with orcs is the biggest priority. Um, what have we got? Yeah, dealing with orcs is the biggest priority, so we shouldn't do too badly. Now, what I'd like to do is for if we ever get promotions or regular marines, I would like to... Oh, I forgot you can do that. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That was wishful thinking on my part. Sorry, I was preempting that for future use. I guess we'll go back to chain swords and leave them. Right, so, have a look at the sector. Plenty of ruddy orcs. Most of them north. Oh, we've got Tau as well to deal with. Beautiful. But north and west, so, we need to extreme world. That's not great. Tiny extreme extreme. Uh, extreme. Oh, dear. Moderate, moderate, extreme. Oh, fuck you. I forgot how much that shitty luck trait really fucks you over. Oh, God. I love the Lamentus. They are my favorite chapter ever, but this game does not do them justice. I'm sorry, but the shitty luck was not all the Lamentus were about. But no one seems to remember that anymore. <sighs> Did I buy 10 power swords? No, I did. I bought 10 power axes. Uh, which, believe it or not, some Lamentors actually had. I know my research. Right, so. Um, I guess we need to keep most of the chapter carrying on. And then I suppose we send 4th Company north. So we'll unite the chapter until we deal with the extreme worlds over here. And then we move them over. So, we'll keep the most of the chapter together. One bright side is... Oh yeah, we don't get land raiders because fuck us. Uh, I blame the bastard Minotaurs for stealing them. They are my most hated Space Marine chapter, those bastard Minotaurs. I despise the air they breathe and the ground they tread on. But, oh well. Ooh, Star of the Emperor, that's a pretty cool ship name. Alright. Fourth Company... Load to the thing. Now, because we are operating a small chapter, I think it's wise for two companies per... two squads per company to be set as borders. That in case if we run into space void combat, we can have a bit of more of a fighting chance. I'll need to ensure that the whatever boarding squads are outfitted with decent weaponry. No... That's one thing. The click-based system of this game can be quite tedious. If you click in exactly the wrong place, the game fucks you over. Right. Borders. Good. Alright, so for the first part, I'm actually going to force you, as a punishment to you, and because I'm secretly sadistic to my audience, uh, to endure the micromanagement I usually do at the start of these playthroughs. So... I always uh, make sure each company has at least two flamers, two combi flamers, two melter guns, 
Uh, I don't use plasma guns because they're far too expensive for what you get out of them. But the Sega V, right. We want M for Melter. For, oh, crap. Well, actually... 136. It's actually, it would, I know it's, it might seem kind of stupid, but I'm going to heavily invest in the local chain axe market because I want to try and re-equip all of these warriors or as much, many of them as I can. 35, that's not bad at all. If we reset them... with chain axes. No. Fucking click base system. There we go. Chain axe. Everyone gets a chain axe. Okay. That's good. And those guys get power axes. And then click base system again. Ah! Right. Want to do chain axe. Now, I suppose I may as well be honest and get into it. I've really... People may have noticed I haven't been making many videos or anything lately. And I'll be honest, a lot of the passion's gone out of it. And I just... I've been doing this for a while. I've been getting nowhere. And it's kind of like watch anime on the couch or make a video that might get five views. And it's kind of hard not to listen to the instinct just to not do anything. And yes, I could self-promote or get sponsorships or shit. But the thing is... I actually cringe and want to die whenever I hear someone say please like and subscribe. It's why I never say it on any of my videos. Because if it makes me want to cringe and kill myself, then I can only imagine it would make the other members of the audience do that. And for me to ask people to do that, I consider it actually disrespectful. Because if you want to do any of those things, or any member of any YouTube community wants to do any of those things for someone's video then I have the utmost belief that they would do it of their own accord. Even asking them to do it kind of is a bit disrespectful in my eyes. But unfortunately, that's what you need to do to get ahead. And I would rather eat fucking um, liquid chlorine than have to resort to that. Because, you know, I'm just kind of odd that way. Right, so we can get two flamers for this company. But yeah, I'm just... a lot of the passion's gone. I think I need to get it back. It's a combination of life fatigue and uh, just a general sort of life apathy. Oh, we may we better give them chain swords because I don't know how many chain axes I still have. So, we want to replace the primary weapon, Volter, with the proposed secondary weapons, Melter Guns. And I guess another one of you and another one of you. You can get the combi flamers. I've stopped issuing storm bolters to my companies because I've realized doing the math that they're not quite as worth it. And a combi flamer. Although I would be fascinated in issuing some sniper rifles to my warriors. Um, oh, who have you, buddy, unaccidentally selected as well, game? Oh, of course you have. Right. Reselect. I want sniper rifles. Because I want to actually give them a try. 60 damage, 20 ammo, 25 range is not bad. You are missing the rapid fire of bolters. But I would be fascinated to see how well we can do it. Right. Mm. Chain. Flamer, combi flamer, flamer, combi flamer, melter, yes. All right, third company. Re-equip with flamers. There we go. Yeah, two companies per flamers for. Yep, that's perfectly fine. I think I've got. Do I have enough melter guns? Oh, I. Oh, I have enough money to buy two more. Right. Oh, I'm still doing third company. I've given someone a. I've given somebody too many melter guns. Oh, ah well. It'll all even itself out in the end in terms of cost. Right. 
Uh, combi flamer. That was the other thing I want to do. See, this is why I usually edit this out, because it can be rather tedious. However, it is a necessary component to ensure that you've got everything together. I wonder if I can give you guys chain axes. Hmm, I definitely need to give 4th Company chain axe, or the Assault Marines chain axes at least. Right, and... Chain axe. Shit. I don't have enough money for that, damn it. I might actually, because I always send 4th Company off by itself to do relic hunting and equip, whip, equipment weaponing. So, oh, we're going to keep the chapter together. So I'll buy chain axes for 4th Company in a bit. But for now, we should ensure that they have their flamers and melter gun complement. Flamer and melter gun complement. Just because I always send 4th Company off to do their own thing. It's just, it's reliable that way. Right. Can't be flame. Oh yeah, I don't have money for that, do I? Alright, um... And we're gonna re-equip a couple guys with sniper rifles. I think it's a wise solution. We might do that to first company too. Not everyone, just maybe... Five... Bolt uh, sniper rifle. There we go. Okay, now we also need to ensure that we are promoting apothecaries to the correct positions. And promote to fourth company. Good. Now, Codicieries, Teen Tech Marines. Transfer them to 4th for SDC relic hunting. However, I won't transfer the rest of these guys to the companies in case I find a hidden battleship or something. Right. Oh yeah, 4th company. Um, also, Ostwest Imperative? That's an awful name for a battle barge. Also, I know the game's, you know... Um, what are they on? They're on the Lipper Towering. Oh, hold on. What's the name of the ships? So you've starved the Emperor, Leperard Towering. Some of these are not bad at all. Sons of Zealous, Scourge of Remembrance. See, a lot of these are pretty good. Actually, I think it's only the Leopard Towering and the Saxton's Revenge that don't quite sound ship name-ish. What's the battle barge called? Outlast Imperative. Outcast Imperative. That's not bad. Actually, as a name, I think, yeah, it serves someone like a successor chapter or custodies even. No, not Outcast Imperative. Um, that's not a bad name. Although, of course, I banged on this every time I talk about the Lamentors. Their flagship was, in fact, a mobile star fortress called the Mater Lycranum. They had two battle barges: the Daughter of Tempests and the Sister of Storms. The Daughter of Tempests was badly damaged during the Badab War and then stolen by the bastard Minotaurs who had then got it destroyed. So they just down to the Sister of Storms and the Mater Lycranum these days. Right, uh we need to deal with orcs as quickly as possible. Now it's two turns Yes. Right. Uh, two turns. No, we're going to continue our crusade of going north. So, we've got shot onto this world. Raid. Ooh, good, good call. Good call, me. Remember, we must set our... Uh, to be fair, the, the default isn't bad at all, let's be honest. Sometimes, in terms of that... I move, say, um, Terminators or something up, but we do not have any of those, unfortunately. We do possess 10 Terminator suits, however, we need to have 90 XP to get them, so that's why I like to try and power level first company. Speaking of which, if we unload them and get them to attack the tiny Terminators, 
then A, it'll be a test to see how what effective weapons we've used. Heavy bolters, storm bolters, sniper rifles, not bad. Good. Alright. Because I want to get them to 90 XP so they can get Terminator Plate. Uh, we also want to launch a full strength raid because I'd like to see how the various weapons teams of dreadnoughts are just going to do a lot of that bulk work for starters which is all right master of the forge and one tech marine can go down and get that SDC now you would think logically you would sell it to the uh, somebody but it's not worth it the war gear discounts are way better than any ruddy I mean seriously you already got the power axe from 10 down to 9 it's just yeah it's better keeping the SDCs yourself when doing this. Right. They are cleansed of orcs, which is good. Right. We're not even going to bother talking to the orcs. We're just going to deny transmission. Right. A tiny orc force. Again, we send down first company to go deal with it. Right, attack. Oh, those are the rhinos, yeah, out by themselves. I think that's what the, the storm bolt of fire is. Hmm. I guess pushing them back or just doing all infantry if I want to try and level them up faster is an idea. Alright. Two there. Good. Whew. Right. Moderate, moderate sparse. So, it's time for raids, followed by landing first company on tiny orc worlds and having them. Nobody's wounded? Good. And having them sorted out from there. See, the dreadnoughts are what's going to do a lot of the yeah, smashing attacks. Good, alright. Uh, all infantry. Unload them onto that one. And... Yeah. Oh. Normally, sometimes they attack, we attack us and we get a free attack, but I guess not. On the bright side, though, this does mean we can double up on first company's engagements. Uh, first company? Attack? Really? Interesting game glitch. Intriguing. What? But the rest of the company is still there. That's bizarro logic. That really is. Alright, select or unload. Unload, reload. That's better. Weird. Bloody weird indeed. Right. Select or load. Select or reload. Um, we used our, both of our assault actions. Yes, we have. What the fuck? That just means the Orc Worlds are going to run rampant. Oh, for fuck's sake, game. Fuck you, you fucking cunt. Fuck you, you piece of utter shit. I cannot believe the amount of times I've wanted to learn game development just so I could take this fucking game on myself. Just so I could fix this bullshit. The fucking unbalanced crap is never more prevalent than when you're doing the fucking Lamenters playthrough. And look at this massive heretic uprisings while I'm fucking stuck in the warp. Look at the damage caused. Simply because I had to spend 30 fucking turns in the fucking trapped in the wall.
Oh, this is actually ruining my entire day. I'm getting fucking pissed off. And when I get pissed off, it fucking lingers. I'm the type of person, if you annoy me, then I'm going to be annoyed at you for the rest of the week. If you make an enemy out of me, then guess what? I'm going to be your fucking enemy for life. And this game is seriously pissing me off and adding itself to my fucking list. Right, die, you sons of bitches, orcs. Thank you. <sighs> the unlucky lamenters meme that's so prevalent in this game is fucking toxic. And it pisses me the fuck off. Because th there's a difference between... And now we have one of our marines who's creating evil artifacts. Uh, we should probably go move to the penatorium. Yes, he created an, an evil abomination. Right. I need to redeploy first company. Just no.